Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com and this is the next video in the Android Car Tablet series. Uh, we talked about using the app Nova Launcher as your home launcher to set it up for use in your car. We talked about the using the app Car Home Ultra as your uh, Android tablet car dashboard and today we're going to talk about another app called Digital Car. Now this app is currently in development um, so it doesn't quite have all the features that Car Home Ultra has um, but it is uh, in development so some things that it may not have now it may have in the future and it is completely free. I'll have a link below to the uh, uh, boards over on XDA where you can sign up if you want to be part of the testing the app, test out the free app, and give your input and opinions to help make it even better. Um, but this is it. It's very simple. You have places for 12 different apps that you can put on here. Um, you have your car logo you can put in the center. You can change that. If you tap that, it turns into a compass and then also has your speed, which it does through GPS, as well as your longitude and latitude. So, and then you tap and it turns back to the car emblem. Uh, the top row is set. So, this is for settings, which we'll look at in a minute. This is to get to your apps. And then you have your uh, music. And if you tap that, it takes you to your mu a music player. Now, this specifically is for music that is on your device. So if you have an SD card with all your music loaded on it, that's what this music player is for. Pretty cool music player. Um, also has uh, uh, equalizer, which is nice. And then uh, you have your Android Home button. And what that does is take you to your your home app and we're not actually going to go to that right now and uh, let's see now this is all customizable as far as color goes I want to do that first so we can get away from the the gray color so let's look at the settings when you tap settings you have these various settings here you can have screen awake on power which is definitely something I have that set up a different way but if you're using this as your main screen you probably want to check that so that as long as you have power the screen stays on um, you can disable the built-in media player. You can try to control third-party media with the media control buttons down here. It is experimental, um, and it doesn't necessarily uh, completely work as of right now, I'll tell you. Um, it does work for some things for third-party, for some third-party music apps, but not for everything. Um, so that's a work in progress. You can also change the brightness level of your screen. That's boost that up. You can also uh, change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour and then if you tap the little color bar you can choose colors. So first you can choose your colors for your top a row up here. Let's choose a nice blue for that and then you can choose colors for the bottom row. Let's choose a nice kind of a reddish color for that reddish orangish color and there you go. Ooh, that is bright. That's definitely bright. You can see that. And then you can also choose different backgrounds. So you can change your background to whatever you want it to be. That's kind of a cool one. And then if you come over here, you've got your car emblem. So you can pick a car emblem that uh, works for your car if you want to. Um, and if it doesn't have one that works for your car, then you can just choose the... Uh, I think there's a, a transformer. There you go. So now you have a transformer. But again, you tap it and it changes over to miles per hour and a uh, compass, which is kind of cool. So if you want to add something on here to launch, you just tap on a blank space or long press on one that already has something else. Um, now, unlike Car Home Ultra, right now, Digital Car only allows you to add apps. So you can launch uh, uh, apps. You can add an app to launch. Let's just pick AAA for the sake of it, but you can't do shortcuts, um, unfortunately, which does add functionality. So hopefully in the future, uh, the developer will add in the ability to do uh, shortcuts as well, because it just gives you a lot, a lot more options of things you can do. Now you do have um, some cool, quick uh, shortcuts that are on here. You can quickly turn from day mode to night mode, and as you see, turning to night mode, it dims the screen. 
and then go back to day mode. So that's cool. Um, you have the time here. You have a microphone up here. If you tap that, you can choose what voice uh, assistant you want it to launch, and it'll launch that voice assistant. So let's uh, choose Google, because I want to show you. You probably saw that little circle pop up, and you're probably thinking, what's that circle for? That circle is so that whenever you're in a different app, well, it's supposed to stay there. So that whenever you're in a different app, you tap it, and it returns you back to digital car. Obviously, uh, that didn't work right now. Like I said, this app is an app in progress. Um, it is being developed, so uh, don't don't expect perfection. But it's free, and you can help you know uh, contribute and make it uh, uh, the awesome app that it's going to become one day. Now you do have big buttons here to increase or decrease your volume, and you see the number right there indicates the volume level, as well as a quick mute button. If you hit that, that mutes, and the button flashes to let you know your volume is muted, which is pretty cool. And uh, you have your play and your rewind buttons here. This works really well for the built-in uh, music player here, but uh, if you're using it to control third-party music, it may or may not work. Um, I will say that uh, uh, it does do a good job of showing what's playing. Uh, if you're playing music, the artist and uh, song will show up here in the top. So let's start Google Music real quick and uh, play something. And I'm not going to let it. Well, can't let it really play because then I'll be infringing on copyright. So I don't want to do that. But uh, uh, again, as you can see, it does, it is, is a work in progress. So just keep that in mind. And it may work better on some devices than other devices. Um, it isn't as feature rich as Car Home Ultra uh, yet, um, or ha offer near the uh, uh, customization options that you have if you use your own home launcher. Uh, like Nova Launcher and just set it up the way you want it. But again, it is free, it is simple, it is cool. Uh, I'd say it's worth giving it a shot, trying it out, uh, maybe give your ideas to the developer on things you'd like to see. And uh, it is a work in progress, and as he gets uh, uh, does more work on it and it gets better and better, then you're going to have uh, uh, even more options. So, uh, uh, that's what I would suggest as far as that goes. And that pretty much is all there is to it. It is very simple. Um, those are, you know, all your options and things. And the only other thing I will point out is that uh, even though you don't see a notification bar, if you pull down, the notification bar does show up. And then you see the, as well as the home key. And if you hit the home key, what you'll see is you can select to use digital car as your home launcher. So if you set that as your home launcher, that means that when you turn on your Android tablet, this is going to be your home screen. And anytime you hit the home key from any app, it'll take you to digital car. So that's kind of a cool way to set it up if indeed you, uh, uh, this is the app you want to try to use as your home screen. Uh, you set that up, and that way anytime you hit your home key, it's just automatically going to launch uh, straight into digital car because it becomes your home screen replacement. So it is uh, it is cool that it has that option for you. Um, it does also show, in case you didn't see, the date there. It's just kind of kind of dark. Yeah, it shows up pretty well on this camera though, as well as your current battery level. So it's very simple, um, but again, it's a very new app, and you can join in, get in on the beta version, or I think it's actually alpha version right now, uh, get it for free, uh, try it out, test it out, give your uh, feedback to the developer so he can add in more functionality as time goes on. Anyway, that's Digital Car. That's going to be the, the last uh, of the apps that I recommend are worth trying out for your car uh, dashboard. Uh, next we're going to start talking about different uh, other apps to add to your car tablet to uh, enhance the functionality and be able to do some really cool things with it and we'll talk about uh, uh, more advanced features and setting things up in Tasker to automate things and some really cool options and future reviews. Anyway that's going to be it until the next video. Uh, check out my channel 
Uh, if you haven't yet, check out Tasker Tutorial Series. If you really want to learn how to do some really awesome stuff on your uh, phone or tablet, check out my Android app review playlist and my product reviews. Subscribe to my channel. Favorite this playlist so you can keep up with future videos. And that's going to be it until next time. So have fun with your Android car tablet.